I'm Rachel Amanda and welcome to another episode. Today I want to talk with you about spirit of intent. And if you're not really familiar with that term, here's what it means for me. Spirit of intent is the thing inside of me that causes me to do the things that I do. And my observation of people is that generally we all have a really good spirit of intent. We take actions, we make decisions with our own best self and with the best selves of everyone else that we care about in mind. But oftentimes what ends up happening is that if something goes wrong, we automatically assume that the other person had a negative spirit of intent. They were out to hurt me, they were out to get me, they didn't think about what they were doing. Why on earth would they have thought that I would like that? And I think that it's not really true and I think that we could do a tremendous service for ourselves and for the relationships that we're in to spend some time observing that level of spirit of intent inside of ourselves and how we interpret the spirit of intent of others. And if you're really not sure, I'm a big advocate for asking. I can't tell you how many times I say to my coaching clients, well have you asked him? Have you asked her? How did they feel about that? What was their motive for doing these things? And about 99.9% .9 of the time, the response is, well, no, I haven't asked. And so you've just made an assumption about what that other person's spirit of intent was. I think that we could reduce a lot of the conflict in our world if we would just take the time to step back and think about spirit of intent. Is it possible that the person who you are involved with might have had a good spirit of intent? might have meant for the very best, for reaching out, for reconciliation, for taking care of you, but that when the actual actions happened or the words happened, that the delivery was wrong and because of that it came across, or not necessarily it came across, but you received it very badly. So the next time that you find yourself in a situation where you're wondering why something happened that way or what that person was thinking, or my very favorite one is when you're very sure that somebody absolutely wouldn't support you in something that you're moving forward with, do yourself a favor, check back in with yourself on what that spirit of intent might have been and have the courage to have a conversation with that person too around what might the spirit of intent have been for their actions or for their words. Oftentimes you'll find that it was very positive and meant to be in a good light and that allows you to have some open conversation and some healing conversation so that you can move forward with each other with grace and ease. That's it for today. Make sure that you subscribe while you're here and I look forward to seeing you next week in another episode.